you will require a rubber seal, a Buckner funnel, a watch glass, glass stir rod with rubber policeman, set of tweezers, a clamp, a rubber vacuum hose, a Erlmeyer flask with vacuum attachment, number 4 Wattman filter, a retort stand, and the solution you desire to filter, as well as the vacuum. Start by securing the vacuum Erlmeyer flask to the retort stand using the clamp. Make sure all parts of the clamp are securely fastened. Next, connect the vacuum hose to the vacuum and to the vacuum Erlmeyer flask. Now, turn on the vacuum valve and test it with your hand. You should feel suction. Now, take the rubber seal writing side up and place it on the Erlmeyer flask. Now, place the Buckner funnel on top of this. Make sure to tear the analytical balance first. Open the door and place the watch glass and filter paper inside and close the door. You want to record this weight. Place a piece of your filter paper into the Buckner funnel. Using your solvent, in this case distilled water, make sure that it is stuck to the bottom of the Buckner funnel. Also ensure that it does not curl up. Now, taking your rubber policeman, stir up the settled solids at the bottom of your solution, and then slowly pour them into the Buckner funnel with the glass stir rod. Make sure that none of the solution or crystals end up on the outside of the filter paper. For the remaining solids inside the beaker, add some of your solvent and then pour this gently into the Buckner funnel. Once fully dry, remove the vacuum valve from the Erlmeyer flask and then turn off the vacuum. Now you can remove the Buckner funnel and using a pair of tweezers, gently remove the filter paper. Once removed, place this onto a watch glass. Start off by tearing the analytical balance. Next, place the watch glass and filter paper embedded with crystals. Subtract this from the empty filter paper to get the total weight of crystals. Now you can disassemble the Buckner funnel and remove the rubber seal. You can unscrew the clamp that holds the vacuum Erlmeyer flask in place and remove this. You must appropriately discard this waste into the proper receptacle. Now remove the clamp from the retort stand and make sure to thoroughly clean the Buckner funnel 